We've got four mesh jackets here, each hoping to be crowned winner of the mesh jacket shootout. shootout. The Knox Urbane Pro Mark II, the RST F Lite, the Dane Easy Airframe D1, and the Bellstaff Tower. Each of these jackets is designed with one thing in mind, keeping you, the rider, as cool as possible when you're out on your bike. And would you believe it? They all do a really great job of that. So what actually makes them different from each other? Why would you pick one over the other? Let's just get into it. First up then, the Knox Urbane Pro Mark II. Now I know it well, so let's, let's start here, it's a good place. Firstly, it's not designed like the others. The other garments on this list are designed as sort of motorcycle jackets with mesh panels. The Urbane here is designed as a, a lightweight armored shirt with abrasion resistant mixed in. So the fit is completely different from the rest. It sits much closer to the body and you know, it feels almost like you're wearing nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Now it is a bit strange at first, but it's a comfortable wear, as well as offering the versatility to throw on anything over the top of it. Uh, if you saw the review video that we've done recently, you'll know what I mean. We've got plenty of abrasion resistant mesh material called Aronet all over the front and down the arms here. And we've got a high, high tenacity nylon with additional abrasion resistance in the high impact zones, like on the back here. There's Knox Microlock CE Level 1 armor in the shoulders and the elbows. It boasts the highest CE rating of all the jackets here, meeting the double A standard, but it is the heaviest. I mean, no surprises there though, when it's the only jacket to come equipped with a back protector as standards, a CE Level 2 rated one at that. Oh, and it's actually ridiculously long, gives you great spinal coverage. So how does it stack up with the competition then? Well, it's the second most expensive here at $299.99, but it does have the best level of protection. It comes with two internal pockets, uh, a chest pocket, and also a large rear pocket for stowing something like a thin waterproof so you can throw it out over the top if showers come. Now we've got no pockets up front to stick your hands into though. If you wanna put your hands in your pockets, all the other options in this lift have those two front pockets, as well as a single internal pocket. Moving to the Dane Easy Airframe D1, which comes in 30 quid less than the Urbane at 199. Now it actually has a windproof inner layer um, built in to help tackle times when the sun disappears behind the clouds. Like if you go out for a little uh, afternoon bimble and it turns into a, a late evening razz. And uh, that's held in place with a popper system uh, and it gives you that inbuilt option to retain some heat uh, within the jacket. Now, don't underestimate this thin plastic stuff. It really is effective at blocking out the wind chill and just taking the edge off a slightly cooler day. When you remove the liner, we have poppers on the arms to cinch in the extra slack. The Airframe D1 has been around for a while now and is consistently one of the most popular mesh jackets available at Infinity. I mean, we certainly love it here. It's a cracker. Due to how long it's been around, it does actually precede the latest safety rating uh, that the other garments are marked against. So it doesn't have a, a CEA rating attached to it as such, but it is built, it's a well-built garment and uh, you know it does have CE certified armor in the shoulders and the elbows with the option for uh, a Dane Easy G2 back protector. In the high impact zones, the uh, mesh fabric is replaced by a material called Quick Dry. It's a day and easy material. Now it offers a superior level of abrasion resistance uh, than just the mesh alone. Now I actually really like, there's a little leather piece that sits around the neck roll, as well as a little bit of neoprene on the cuff. It feels really nice against the skin and it doesn't cause any irritation. It's just a nice little premium touch. Now it oozes that classic day and easy fit, sporty without being racy. It also has a 270 degree zip for connecting to your day and easy trouser of choice. Now the Knox Urbane has a belt loop system for connecting to their Urbane trousers or even a set of denim riding jeans. Whilst our next jacket also offers a trouser connecting zip, the RST F Lite. RST designed this jacket right here with the brief to make the lightest possible jacket while still offering a level of safety that riders come to expect. Now it uses a combination of something called K540 mesh fabric. Uh, it's abrasion and burst resistant and comprises uh, most of the jacket's construction. 
But the main chassis and the high impact zones here are taken care of by another fabric called HTC. No, not the Chinese communications giant, but a blend of nylon and polyester to offer exceptional levels of abrasion resistance where it matters the most. In the shoulder and the elbows, we have CE Level 1 armor with the option to fit a back protector. Um, now, the garment meets CEA certification, but let's say you want a little bit more protection. There is the option to purchase the F-Lite jacket uh, with an airbag system built in. Around the collars here and the cuffs, we have this synthetic suede material called Amara. It's really soft to the touch and it gives the jacket a more sort of premium feel than its $129.99 price tag would suggest. It also makes this the most accessible mesh jacket in this group today. Like the Danese airframe, we've got a removable windproof liner that packs down really small so you can just shove it into your pocket. And the most noticeable thing about this jacket is its weight, or at least the lack of it. I mean, that's why it's called the F-Lite. night. So let's go from the lowest price point all the way to the top to our most expensive offering, the Bellstaff Tower. Okay, so it's £275, which in this present company does seem a bit spendy, but you need to look at the tower jacket in perspective of the Bellstaff range. Its heritage carries weight, and with that comes a price tag. Now, it certainly does feel like one of the most premium offerings here. Uh, it's got a high tenacity mesh, and it looks a lot less sort of holy than the other offerings. And it's so supple and soft, it, it's just a gorgeous item to wear. Now that mesh is incredibly fine, but it does let through an awful loss of air. Now the shoulder and elbows have air fabric reinforcements, obviously for those high impact zones, uh, and they also hold CE level one shoulder and elbow armor. Now we do have the option to add a back protector, but there is not one as standard. On the whole then, the Bell Staff offering meets CE level A rating. Now the collar is soft and all of the snaps feature a rubberized coating. We've got an adjuster at the lower base of the torso, just a cinch in that waistline, get a nice fit. We don't have any way of connecting to any trousers, so the tower sits alone in that regard. Now there's plenty of reflective details, nice long piping for that passive safety element. Uh, and it's the most obvious of all the jackets, especially around the back with those long reflective strips. Um, and again, down the torso here too. All of the logos are reflective, so on the sleeves at the top and down at the bottom. We've also got two front pockets, a chest pocket, as well as an internal pocket too. Out of all the jackets, this one feels the most cool. I mean cool in like a Matthew McConaughey kind of way, not cool as in cold, because you know, that's what they all do here, they, they keep you cool. It's also the only jacket to not have a female alternative. All the rest, cater for the ladies with sort of ladies options, basically the exact same jacket, but with a ladies cut fit and slightly different colors. So what do you think? Who's won the shootout? Let me know down in the comments below, which one's for you, which one don't you like, which one just kind of bleh. Now really, whichever jacket your money goes to, you're not gonna be feeling like you've been shortchanged. They really are, they all have their strong points, whether that's the price, the protection, the features, or just plain old swag. Now, if it was my money, I'll be riding home in the s***.